Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vito Studio and today a quick video to show you how to get the most out of the Cinematic Hive Pack 2.0. This pack contains 40 cinematic intros for your films or music videos, along with a toolkit to help you build your own easily from scratch. So if you're ready, let's get into it. All right, so the Cinematic Hype Pack 2.0 is now available for sale on our website. Once you get it, you will receive this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. In the folder, you'll find a couple of things, the license, the installation instruction, the TFX file, and the fonts. Please make sure to install all the fonts, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to use. So there is quite a lot of fonts for this one. We're using quite a lot of different style for it. So it's very important that you just select all of them and that you double click on them to start the installation process. Once that's done, you can go to the DRFX file and double click on it to start the installation on DaVinci Resolve. Select install and then you can move over to DaVinci Resolve. Once on the edit page, you can find your path under effect, titles, video Editor studio, and then here you will find the cinematic hype pack 2.0. You have then two categories available in that pack. You have the cinematic card, which are basically fully pre-made uh, title that have a bunch of different text on them already laid out for you. And then you have the elements library, which contain different main title and secondary title to help you create your own card, depending the layout modification that you want to do. Or if you want to have some text appearing later on one by one, you can do that by creating your own card with those individual elements. I'm first going to go through some of the cinematic card and show you how to use them inside of Resolve. And then we'll move over to the elements library and how you can create your own cards from scratch. We'll give you access as a free sample, this I Survive uh, title. You can download it uh, in the description below if you want to experiment with it and see the different functionality built in that title. There is a video that I will link in the description below if you want to watch that. So most titles share same functionalities. So here, if I take, for example, this one, we have the same usual parameter that you can adjust with the animation timing, the animation in and out, if you want to have them on or off, the animation style, and we have all the text organized here as the main title and the secondary title with different drop down. So it's easy to basically find what you need to replace, adjust the position, the size, etc. Let's bring in some footage. So here I'm just going to bring that to track two, and then we're going to bring here some footage in our timeline. Obviously those titles are a base. If you don't want to display certain things or there is some information that are irrelevant to your video, you can easily remove them. For example, here, I might not want to have those names appearing at the top. So I can easily just go to the secondary and identify where they are. So here I have the first one, Susan Robertson. I'm just gonna remove that by deleting the text. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other ones. And I'm just gonna be left with the main text and the one below right here. Now, if I want to rebalance the position of those texts, I can easily do that. For example, here, the main title, we're gonna bring it maybe slightly up. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here with those two secondaries. So I'm gonna start with the text number two and the text number three. I'm gonna bring those slightly up as well. And we're going to do the same thing on this one. I'm actually going to copy the exact position of the text and I'm going to go to the text two to have it uh, being on the same line. So here I'm going to paste that and actually I'm going to modify slightly to have it appearing a bit lower. Here we go. And now lastly, I'm going to move the final text right there and I'm going to bring it slightly lower there. I can also adjust the overall size if I want to make it smaller. We can do that right here. And if we want to adjust the tracking, we can increase or reduce that tracking. So here I'm going to actually increase that tracking and I'm going to bring it slightly lower like so. And here we go. We just made some quick modification to make the title fit the footage. Right now I'm getting real time playback at 30 FPS, but if that's not the case for you, you can always go over to playback and then here render cache, select smart instead of none. That will just bring that bar right here that's going to turn from red to blue, meaning that it's going to cache your titles. And whenever uh, it's blue, that's going to mean 
that your title has been fully cashed in and you will get real-time playback if that wasn't the case. So I'm not going to go through each individual card that are available in the pack. There is 40 individual title that you can see on our website and right now being displayed on screen. You can modify everything that I've just shown you on them, uh, the text, the position, the font, the colors, etc., as well as the animation style, type, and dynamic. So now let's move on to the element library and how you can use individual element to create your own intros. So right now we're going to start with a new piece of footage uh, in our timeline and I'm going to go over to the element library. As you've noticed here, we have main title and we have a secondary title. The main title is the one that is generally at the center of the frame. So here we can just scroll down between a different type of animation or different behavior. Like for example, the one that we give uh, with the thumbnail, the mask uh, style text, you can have that right here. So for this one, I'm just gonna go with that layer spacing, but here, as you can see, we got a bunch of other options like blur, uh, we get some outline, we get some more modern one, so you can just take that and bring that in. Right now, we can make some modification. For example, the main thing that's gonna define the style of uh, a title like this one is gonna be the choice of font. That's why we've provided so many fonts. So maybe you like the animation, but you don't like the font or the style of it, so you can easily just toggle between other fonts that you have available on your computer, or you can search online to find the font that's gonna fit your project. So right now, for example, I'm gonna select Trash Hand, then I'm gonna increase the size, and I think that's gonna be all main title right here. Now you can choose to have all of those titles coming at once, or you can have them coming one by one. So right now I'm just gonna make more space in our timeline and we're gonna start to stacking things up. So here, what if, for example, I'm bringing a, a directed by title. I'm gonna bring that and put it right above our first title. And now we're gonna adjust the position. We're gonna bring it down. So here I'm gonna bring the offset to Bring it down. I can adjust the font so it match maybe a bit better what we have. So here, for example, what do we have? We have something like popping, which I think works in most scenarios. I'm just gonna make it slightly thinner. So here, instead of bold, we're gonna use medium. And right now we're gonna adjust the timing of the animation. Right now it's coming too fast compared to our main title. So there is two ways to go about it. Either we can just bring it in when the animation of this one is almost done. So we can just displace it slightly forward and now uh, it will just come into play later on. We can do it that way and then start to just create our own animation by displacing the titles one by one like that. Or if we want to match it in the exact same timing, right now we can see that the animation is taking two seconds on our main title. So we can do the same thing here on the secondary and make it happen in two seconds. And now we'll have the animation on the same timing for both titles. So you can choose to keep it simple like this or we can continue to build upon that. So for example, now if you wanted to add where that video is going to be uh, visible for your audience, you can just bring here another title with an image loader. So in that case, that's going to be Netflix. We can then just displace that title to bring it down a little bit like so. Right now, by default, it's Netflix, but it can be any other platform. You can, we have something for uh, Prime Video. You can add any other image. If it's uh, YouTube, if it's on your website, um, whatever it is, you can just put it right here with that image loader. Same thing here, if you received an award, for example, you can bring that award claim right there. We can bring it down, we can reduce the size of it, uh, and you can replace it to whatever festival uh, prize uh, you've received. Uh, you can do the same thing here with feedback that has been given to your film or music video. Uh, so you can just bring it down as well and you can start to stack them up and create your own. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Let me know in a comment if you have any question and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contain over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.